To write the formula for potassium sulfate, we go to the periodic table and we look up potassium. The element symbol for potassium, that's K. Sulfate we won't find on the periodic table. It ends in A-T-E. This is a polyatomic ion. So we can look this up on a table of common polyatomic ions, or you could have it memorized. Sulfate is SO4 2 minus. Potassium is a metal, and then the sulfate, that's made up of a group of nonmetals. Metal and nonmetals, that's ionic. So we need the charges on the potassium and the sulfate to add up to zero, to give us a net charge of zero, since potassium sulfate, that's a neutral molecule. When we look at the periodic table, potassium's in group one, so it has a one plus ionic charge. We said the sulfate, when we looked it up, that had a two minus charge. So these don't add up to zero right now, but we can change the subscripts to make it happen. We use something called the crisscross method. We'll take the two, put it down here, and the one out here. We don't write the one by convention, and let's get rid of this here. And that's it. That's the formula for potassium sulfate, K2SO4. We should, however, check our work. We said potassium was one plus, and the sulfate was two minus. So we have one sulfate ion, that's two minus, and two times the plus one, we have the two potassium atoms, each one's plus one, two times plus one, that's two plus. So two plus, two minus, that adds up to zero. So this is the correct formula for potassium sulfate. Let's clean it up. And there you have it, potassium sulfate, K2SO4. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.